Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, Nathan left his home for school. He walks 3.6 miles north and then 2.7 miles west. How many miles in a straight line is he from his starting point? Record your answer and fill in the bubbles in the grid below. Be sure to use the correct place value. So what is it that I'm looking for? Well, we want to find out how many miles is Nathan away, okay, from his starting point, okay? So he did some kind of movements, right? It says that he actually walked 3.6 miles north, and then from there he went 2.7 miles west, okay? So the question now is how far away is he now from his starting point. So we have a compass to the right. We're gonna use that one to show the movement that he did. So the red dot is Nathan. And from there, he went 3.6 miles north. So we're gonna draw a line straight up. And that line is 3.6 miles, okay? From there, he actually went 2.7 miles west. So we're gonna go to the left because west is to the left, okay? So he walked 2.7 miles west. So now we have the line that goes where it shows that he went straight up and then to the left. So what I'm looking for is how far away is he now from the starting point. So this is basically what I'm looking for. I want to find this distance, right? So I don't know if you can see it, but that's clearly a right triangle, right? So let's go ahead and draw a right triangle, okay? And while you do yours, I will start writing the measurements where they belong. So my 2.7, it's the measurement right here. So I'm comparing my triangle with the one on the campus, right? So this is 3.6 miles, okay? And I am gonna use red for these two sides. Now remember, not because I'm uh, highlighting both of them with red, it means that they're equal. I'm highlighting it with red just to show you that those two have something in common. What they have in common is that they actually make my right angle. And they make a right angle right here, which then makes those two the legs of the right triangle. Therefore, I can label this one A and this one B. Because remember, the legs of the right triangle are always gonna be A and B. Across the right angle, it's always gonna be your hypotenuse. And hypotenuse, it's always gonna be the C, okay? So now I'm thinking about the Pythagorean theorem, right? Very good. So the Pythagorean theorem allows you to find any missing side of a right triangle, okay? So let's go ahead and write down our labels in my formula. So A is 2.7. So I will write down 2.7 squared. My miles, I'm gonna leave them aside. We'll just bring them to the answer. Plus B, it's 3.6 miles. So I'll say 3.6 squared equals C squared, okay? So this is 2.7 and that's my A, right? So right here, notice how I replaced that one with 2.7. Then my next one is B, which is the other leg, 3.6. So I did replace that with a 3.6. Notice how C was the one that is missing, so I'm still looking for that one, okay? So let's go ahead and put that in the calculator for 2.7 to the second power. And you guys will get something like 7.29 plus... 3.6 to the second power, it's 12.96. That's equals to C squared, right? 
So if you add them up, you get 20.25 equals C squared. Now notice how I'm not finished yet because I want to find just C, not C squared. So what I need to do next is don't forget to find the square root. That's the last step that you need to do. Okay? So find the square root and that will give me this cancel. So I get C equals 4.5. And my units are miles, so it will be 4.5 miles. So the distance that Nathan is from where he stopped to his starting point, it's 4.5. So I'm going to write it down over here. And notice how 4.5, it is uh, greater or larger than all the other numbers, right? So we're good. If I go back to my gridable, 4.5 will be 4 to the left, 5 will be to the right, okay? Let's go ahead and bubble it in. So that's 4, and this is 5. Now, notice how 4.5 is positive. If you want to, we can write down the plus, and we can go ahead and bubble in the positive. So that will be our answer, 4.5 miles.